boy! Oh! Sorry, comments. I had to stretch. Um, man, how do you start something like this off? This is kind of insane. So, I'm a little late to this this um this news. Um, so much so that I I posted <laughs> some Dragon Ball stuff, not knowing that what happened with Akira Toriyama. But, um, if you don't know, he has, he has passed away, and, um, yeah, I, I don't know, I just, um, I've been on a, a YouTube kick of watching guys like Dotto, Dotto, Syriax, Rhyme, Thunder, just a bunch of people's perspectives on it, and it's really interesting to see, because I'm not like a lot of people where they grew up with Dragon Ball, I kind of found it later. So I found it in my, so I'm 22 right now, almost 23. And I kind of, I stumbled upon Dragon Ball when I was like probably 19, 20. So I, I'm very, I'm a late bloomer to the Durgan Ball. And, um, I don't know. I just, I just, I just didn't expect to hear news like this. And nobody does really, I guess. That's kind of the nature of death in general, but I don't know, I, I just, um, I, I recently re-watched Dragon Ball, well, I watched Dragon Ball Z for the first time, like, a couple years ago, and I was so hype all the way through, like, e even though, of course, there was a ton of filler, I just acknowledged that I, I just tried to put in the framework of, you know, this is from a time where filler was like common and you kind of need to do that but uh excuse me and it's just really interesting to see it from the perspective of like uh kind of the new kid on the block or a normie i guess i'm gonna say quote unquote because like i've never like anime was kind of uh sure everybody got bullied for it like way back when but even even when i in my like adult time i was like nobody really talked about it and I knew people that liked it, but they were never like, if you didn't show interest, they're not going to talk about it, to be honest. But eventually I was pointed towards Dragon Ball and I was like, you know what? This will be like my gateway drug to anime. <laughs> so let, let's give it a shot. And um, watch Dragon Ball Z and I couldn't put it down. First episode, I think obviously you get rad. It's all that fun stuff. It was just so well done. And I didn't know it at the time, but I didn't know that it was based on manga. I just, I was unaware, very like naive, I guess, to, to how stuff like that worked. But then I started picking up Dragon Ball Fighters, right? And I, I think a lot of people can echo this, this sentiment of they're, they're here in some form of fashion or they're shaped by what Akira Toriyama d did. Just in some, in some dramatic way, I would say. And obviously, if Akira Toriyama, like, if he didn't have Dragon Ball Z, you'd find a new thing. But Dragon Ball Z is just such a good... How do I put this? It's such, a, like, a well... Hmm. Akira Toriyama really made it in a way that was just... It really displayed, like, a good heart and a very, like, brilliant mind. And the combination of those two things is just really, really um, impactful to a lot of people. And to this day, people people love love Dragon Ball. Like Goku's iconic, so much so that my my dad, who's passed away, also I uh, rest in peace. But when he was like sixty eight, he's like, man. If, if I were to ask him like who Goku is, he'd be like, oh, he's from that that one anime, Dragon Ball Z. Like, he would know who Goku is. He's that iconic. And I just think that that's a testament to a legacy left behind. And I think that's really cool. I don't know. I've just been...
I don't know, I, I, I wanted to keep this short and sweet, but now I'm kind of... I don't know how to wrap this up, to be honest. I, I'm just going to say that um, a few things, right? Uh, I've been playing Kakarot for a while, right? Which is like a... a for lack of better words, is the retelling of Dragon Ball Z through the lens of a video game, right? <clears throat> so what I think I'm going to do with that series now is we're gonna I'm going to approach it with the the lens of watching it for the first time and like what I thought about it stuff like that because now it's gonna be like a tribute to Akira Toriyama pretty much like there's just so much that was inspired by this uh, this amazing man and I don't know, he's going to be missed. There's a whole community that supports his his family and loved ones, all those that um, are feeling this loss so much harder than we are. And um, good thing, good things are happening for the future of Dragon Ball, for this community, for every other community that has lost Akira Toriyama and has felt his absent sense. Good things are going to happen. Good things are going to happen. So, Akira Toriyama, in celebration of you, thank you. We love you. And see you in another life. Love y'all. God bless.